Uh, fans, well, they might just get a souvenir of the match ball down there if uh, the referee blows his whistle now, Steve Brand. The great scenes down at uh, that end of the ground. It's a magnificent sight. And that's it. And who's going to make the dressing room? Not too many. Fantastic scenes here at Church Road. Boston United for the first time in their history and Steve Evans is absolutely mobbed and the fans make a beeline for the Boston manager and what a wonderful day this is for the Scott and it's absolutely terrific well one or two including the man of the match Jim Rodwell with the headband there have made the sanctity of the dressing room but there are several Boston players still out here who've been absolutely swamped by the thousands of Boston fans who've made the journey down here today. It's been a journey well worthwhile. And for these players, Clyde Walker, 42 league games of hard slog. And now the release is evident. Well, absolutely. That's the, that's the release that you can see. The relief that you can see in them there. And, uh, well, that won't stop for a few, minute, few more minutes, hours, days later. And this is exactly how you felt three years ago with Cheltenham, you yeah. know exactly how they feel. Absolutely. First of all, you're in the dressing room with your own players and, you, and you're happy with your, your teammates, your fellow teammates who stuck by you throughout the season. And I would like to think that in a few, few minutes or whenever they can, they'll come out and address their fans because they are, well, they're all on the pitch now, the fans. And it's a lovely seat and, uh, you know, this is what they've been waiting for. Well, a lot of these players are young. Several of them have tasted league status before and full credit to those players who have had to drop out of the league before it's very easy to let your head drop climb and your career to slip away but full credit to these lads yeah absolutely the ones that played there before will be so so much looking forward to that. they are young they're so much looking forward to to going back there next season and i'm sure the ones that they can take with them as well that have played well in the conference and now it's down to steve evans maybe to strengthen his squad maybe just to make his squad a little bit bigger perhaps and uh, we'll just carry on the things that he's been doing this year because he's done a wonderful job. Well, they lost to Dagenham and Redbridge in front of our cameras in early March and they trail Dagenham, who've beaten Chester City by three goals to nil today. Dagenham and Gary Hill, their manager there, had a seven-point advantage at the top of the conference and it looked then as if Dagenham and Redbridge would be winning the conference title. But again, this amazing title race took another twist, and the sign says it all. Boston United are the 2002 conference champions. It all came down to goal difference at the end, Clive, and those amazing 84 goals that Boston have scored. Yeah, fantastic goal scoring rate, wasn't it? And I think you know, a lot of players will be hunt on Daryl Clare, obviously being a top goal scorer. But these guys can all take credit. They've all been involved. Even the players that came late in the season, like Ray Warburton, they're all part of the team. And well, as you can see, <laughs> fantastic scenes. And I can certainly spare a thought at the moment for the Malkinson family, who for over 70 years were at the helm of Boston United Football Club. Ironic, really, that they're relinquishing their control over many decades at the end of this season. A new consortium based in North Nottinghamshire will be taking over Boston. But these fans, it's all been about what happened on the Church Road pitch today. And the early goal from Simon Weatherstone. And there is the champagne celebration starting in earnest here. And I'm not sure too much of it's been drunk at the moment, Clive. Well, not yet, but I'm sure it will be later on. And who cares about the club suits? But it's a great scene to... <laughs> I can feel for that. I've been there. It's lovely. It's great to win something, whether it be the league, whether it be a trophy, but uh, they're thoroughly going to enjoy themselves today. What a fabulous job the Malkinson family have done at Boston. There would be no Boston United Football Club without them. And we pay tribute to the job that family has done at this club down the years. Their greatest day in their history before today was the 1985 trophy final when they were celebrating 50 years in existence. They reached Wembley, and over 12,000 fans went to Wembley and saw them defeated 2-1 by Wilson. But this has very much been Boston's day. And as we said earlier, Clive, scored the most goals, conceded the less, won the most number of games as well. And we'll be 
getting the trophy celebration for Boston. The Pilgrims.